And late today I spoke with Julia Hargrave, a counsellor and senior member of the Church of Scientology, who was an assistant to church founder L. Ron Hubbard. She was also a member of the elite unit known as Sea Org within the church. Julia Hargrave, thank you for your time. Your church stands accused of alarming, damning allegations of bullying, abuse, of human trafficking, among others. What is your response to those allegations? Well, I have been a member of the Church of Scientology for over 40 years. I have personally worked with L. Ron Hubbard and many of the current management people, and those are absolutely not my experience. One of the accusations last night was a woman could, was paid so little that she could not afford birth control pills and consequently got pregnant and was compelled to have an abortion. Yeah, I don't know that woman and I know of no instance of that type of thing occurring. I can only speak of uh, the organisation I work in here in Australia. The, the staff members are very well cared for. They have all their medical and dental expenses, anything that they need, and I know of no uh, occasion where that has been a problem. Let me get this straight. Are you qualified only to speak from your personal experience? Because we did ask for a spokesperson who could speak about the church as a whole, and we understood that you would be that spokesperson. Okay. Uh, I just don't know of that instance that you are discussing now with regard to birth control pills. What is it about Sea Org that would be repellent to children? It isn't that it's repellent, it's just they need to attend schools. Um, we don't have all the facilities for large numbers of children, and so it's just more practical. But uh, it's an individual choice. If they wish to have children, then they can do so. And yet a 14-year-old, uh, Jordan Anderson, was recruited at that age to Sea Org, and as part of her recruitment process was asked whether she'd ever watched porn, a 14-year-old, uh, whether she had ever had sex with animals. That is something I find very, very hard to believe. Absolutely. It's, I know of no precedence on that. I do not believe that that is the truth, quite frankly. It is, it's not part of our um, recruitment procedure at all. Scientology spokesman also admitted last night that members are not allowed to stay in touch with other members from the church after they have left the church. Do you not concede that that tears families apart? Um, that's actually not a true uh, statement and I don't believe it's what Mr Davis said exactly. Many people, many people decide to leave the church and they're very free to do so and uh, stay in communication with other family members who are in the church. Uh, it's only if the person begins to attack the church. That's a, a different matter entirely. Given that some of the other allegations that your church is facing is of brainwashing, is it not open to us to believe that young Fiona Peachy was brainwashed by the church? And that would be completely a false statement. Fiona is a very determined young lady and she um, does what she wishes to do. She's a very free individual and she does what she chooses. We heard last night that when young Jordan Anderson finally wanted to leave the church and go to her mother who was parked outside, she was kept inside the church building for four days and interrogated before she was finally allowed to leave. Mm, I know that absolutely to be non-factual. Um, she was not outside the church for four days. Uh, she was in communication with uh, her ex-husband and it was known very well when Jordan had finished her routing out procedure it was not interrogation but it was uh, just church policy to complete cycles of action before she left and then she did so freely. Why would these families lie? Why would these people lie? What is their incentive? We, well I can only give my opinion on that and I would say that some of those people who made those allegations are themselves suing the church and I could uh, imagine that they may think the TV exposure will aid their case and help them to win. 
they're, they're a very small minority, probably less than two and a half percent of the whole church population. So it is a really very small minority group. And uh, I think they possibly are doing it for their own vested interest. That's my opinion.